What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Some news here from the Indianapolis Colts, the start of free agency, their first official move of the new year. The Indianapolis Colts bring back one of their own. They re-signed tight end Mo Ali Cox to a three-year deal worth around $18 million, so just about $6 million per year. The Colts bring back Mo, and I think you know, first reactions, obviously, this was a signing that needed to happen. The Colts needed to bring back Mo, especially with Jack Doyle retiring this offseason. The Colts only had one other tight end under contract, and that was Kylan Granson, who they drafted last year, who didn't get a ton of run at tight end. So I think from that standpoint, it's good. I kind of like the price, too, only $6 million for Mo. Um, good to get him back in the building. I think it's a fair deal for both sides, especially with – you know, the tight end market, as thin as it is right now, I think it's good for the Colts to bring in Mo and at least secure one of their tight ends so you feel more confident now in your tight end room. But I also would say this. Don't rule out the possibility of the Colts getting another tight end as well in free agency. Like, the Colts obviously brought back Mo for a couple of years, but they still are in search, I think, and this is from what a couple different people have said, they're still in search of that vertical threat tight end, right? So a name that's been really circulating around Colts Nation right now is Evan Ingram's name, who we talked about when we looked at some potential options for the Colts at tight end. I would be personally not opposed to that at all. I think he's he's obviously very talented. He's a first-round pick, and he can really stretch the field in ways that, let's be frank, Moelle Cox or Kylan Granson at this point, they can't do that. So you know, obviously, this is a move that it's not like, oh my goodness, this isn't like ground shaking or anything, but I think it's good for the Colts to bring back Mo, keep their tight end room mostly intact up to this point. Hopefully, they go out and get a guy that can really help stretch the field a little bit more, and uh, hopefully, Evan Ingram is that guy or somebody like that. We'll see how it pans out, but guys, just wanted to talk about the first thing the Colts have done here in free agency only however many hours, only four hours in, the Colts have finally made a move, and that's bringing back Mo Ali Cox. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Uh, what are your thoughts on the deal? Three years, about $18 million, roughly $6 million a year. Do you think that's a fair deal for Mo? Do you think the Colts you know, got him out of steel? Do you think they overpaid? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Obviously, keep it here for all the news in Colts free agency. I'm thinking in the next couple of days, the Colts are going to be a little bit more active. You know, This day one, I know some Colts fans have been pretty upset, but the Colts have kind of sat back. And honestly, there's only one deal that I've looked at so far that I think the Colts maybe missed out on, and that's the Hassan Reddick deal to the Eagles. But also you kind of look at it like, okay, he wanted to maybe return home and all that stuff. But overall, in terms of the contracts, there wasn't a contract that I thought was really a, would be good for the Colts up to this point. Now, still a lot of good players out there in free agency. We'll see how the Colts go about it. They still have a lot of cap space and a lot of holes to fill. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, guys, go Colts. Yeah.